Grant Thornton Australia was nominated for our work on our Gender Equity Action Plan, uh, in particular with our initiative around our Gender Equity Network, which was designed to uh, support our women and gender diverse people in achieving uh, senior roles within our organisation. So uh, Jen has been running for just over a year and in that time we've grown to just over 370 members. Um, we have run over 30 circle meetings, we've delivered training for 60 allies and we've um, delivered um, a training videos on um, a range of different topics. So we've been uh, awarded a number of industry awards, including the Employer of the Year Award at the Women in Finance Awards for 2022 and also Diversity and Inclusion Initiative of the Year at the Australian Accounting Awards in 2023. But what we're most excited about is the momentum that we are seeing in the area of gender equity and the very deep um, commitment and support of the most senior uh, people at Grant Thornton in Australia towards gender equity. Yeah, I think the biggest impact um, from our initiative so far is definitely that feeling of inclusion and belonging. I um, sat in on a um, grads uh, luncheon the other day and one of our grads was talking to the fact that she was a mum of two children and um, was fearful coming into the workplace to start off with. But then um, she has, she actually said she's a different person now because she is so much more confident than she's ever been. Um, she has so much more belief in herself just simply from the support that she's received from the various people um, that she's connected with since she joined our firm, including our office chair right through to, you know, the recruitment team, her leader, um, but also her own um, actual team that she's working with. So I think, you know, when people are um, putting into practice the things that they've learned throughout the various inclusion initiatives um, and the way that we um, have the different structures to support people's different lived experiences. I think that that has an overwhelming effect on people's feeling of belonging in the workplace. Um, I think in terms of starting out and planning your DNI journey, I think the key thing I would say is just um, really uh, try and uh, get going. And diversity and inclusion is, is not an area that you will be able to drive change very, very quickly. It takes um, a lot of time and a lot of work. So um, the first advice would be just to get started. Um, and then the next piece of advice would be um, really make sure that you've got um, very good buy-in from your most senior uh, level people within the organisation so that they can see and understand the benefits and the importance of it um, and will really promote it um, across the organisation. And then um, lastly, I would say make sure that um, what you do resonates with um, your people across all levels of the organisation. It's really important to have an impact um, by making sure that you're uh, driving change in a way that resonates with all of your people. Our, our plan is with our DEI strategy and our action plans as they mature is to really take stock of where we're at with our people's experience of inclusion in the workplace, but also get a greater um, understanding about the experience of um, those who have an intersectional experience and how are they being included and, you know, what are their specific needs. Um, so our, our plan for our strategy is for it to, to evolve uh, and grow um, and for us to be um, more impactful around the way that our inclusion impacts on our community and our clients.